No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. What's going on everyone? I'm Brian Schmidt and welcome to our very first episode of our new video playlist series called Lip Busters, where we find out the truth behind all the popular fitness trends and fads out there. Now in our first episode, you've seen the guys in the gym wearing the breathing apparatus around their face. Well, I got a newsflash for you all. They're not trying out for the next Batman movie. They're called the Elevation Training Mask. And we're gonna try to separate fact and fiction with these masks and figure out if these masks are actually worth it and give you an edge to your training regimen or are they a big waste of your time and money? Stay with us. So, if you guys are not familiar with this elevation training mask, the overall premise is when you wear this mask, it's supposed to simulate and mimic high altitude training. Now, the apparent benefits of high altitude training is because there's lower oxygen levels in the air, your body's supposed to produce more red blood cells. These red blood cells are gonna assist with getting oxygen to your muscles faster. Now, when you go back down to a lower elevation, you're supposed to still have these red blood cells in your system, which is gonna basically get oxygen throughout your body to your muscles faster. So to break this mask down, we gotta look at two things. First, uh, does this mask really even simulate that high altitude environment? And second, is high altitude training even beneficial at all? Now, prior to filming this video, I did extensive research on this subject, and I did find two really interesting studies. The first one followed two different groups one group did not wear the mask and one group did wear the elevation mask. And the purpose of this study was to first determine if the mask even simulated altitude and secondary, it was to determine if wearing the mask had any effect on endurance training. Long story short, the study concluded that wearing the mask did not effectively simulate altitude. And the example that they used was if you were to put the mask at the 15,000 foot setting, the oxygen saturation level would only be 89%. Now, if you were to actually train at the altitude of 15,000 feet, the oxygen saturation would really be 63% as opposed to the 89% wearing the mask. So furthermore, the study also concluded that wearing the mask did not improve lung function, inspiratory muscle strength, or stimulate changes in red blood cell levels. However, the study did find that both groups did improve their overall VO2 max. However, there was no real significant difference between the two. So the second study we're gonna talk about was pretty interesting, and this one was done on the effects of hypoxic interval training. More specifically, this one was done on cycling performance. So basically, this one ends up showing that oxygen-reduced training did not show an increase in performance or red blood cell levels. Now, there is a lot of information out there suggesting that living in a high altitude environment for a long period of time could be beneficial if you drop back down to sea level for a short period of time and train or work out in that environment. However, all these studies are ultimately inconclusive because of the amount of variables out there that go into this. So really, high altitude training may not be all it's cracked up to be. After all the research and the studies that I read, here are my final thoughts on this elevation training mask. Ultimately, this device is gonna go over your face and it's gonna restrict the amount of oxygen going throughout your body. That's gonna to lead to a diminished performance. Yes, it's gonna be much more difficult for you to complete your workouts, but that's not a good thing. It's gonna be much harder for you to train with that much intensity and that much endurance as you normally would without the mask. Not only that, but from the research we read and the study we talked about, there's no real conclusive evidence out there stating that high elevation training works in the first place. So with all that taken into consideration and the fact that I think this mask looks absolutely ridiculous, I would not waste my time and money on it. And I don't think you guys should either. And that's my final thoughts on this. So if you liked our first episode of Lip Busters, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more coming to you soon. Thumb up the video below, comment, let us know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Why does he wear the mask?